Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Craft the World. And tonight's episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now, tonight is actually a very special episode. This is our Craft the World 100th episode. It's been going on for 100 episodes, guys. That is crazy. When I first started this game, uh, you know, it was only two levels long. So I figured, you know, we play it for a little while and then move on to the next game. And we're still playing this one. We still have a whole nother level to go after this. And then we have the sandbox mode. And if they come out with more patches after that, maybe, uh, you know, a whole nother hundred episodes. I don't know. Um, but still, that's pretty special. hundred episodes is a lot. And I was trying to get it to line up with my channel's video, which is coming up to a number, which I'll say here in a minute. But... Uh, I wanted to do it, but I couldn't quite get it to line up, and we're reaching our 1,000th episode for my channel here in probably a couple weeks. We're at like 960-something, and I produce three episodes daily, and then I have another four or five uh, series that I do, uh, you know, two to three times a week, so it shouldn't take too long to get back to that point. I'm just kind of letting them make some potions and food, because... My guys got so sick and tired of this uh, fish stew that they will quite literally not eat it anymore. They, they don't want it even remotely. So let's, let's put some little minions down here to help pick up some of the bottles and pick up some of the, the little uh, steaks so I can put some of that stuff down. Because, like you can see over here, some of my guys are just standing here waiting and they don't have anything to do because I haven't given them a task. But if they want food, like right there, fish stew, I can't eat this anymore. Now, I understand, buddy, there's food coming. Uh, they don't even want the beer, like they've had that too many times, so yeah, I did kind of neglect that, and I guess put a couple more of these things down. I don't really want to use all my power, but there's so much here that I kind of have to. And at some point, I need to chop this down. Let's see, can we dig? Maybe that will, will do it for us, and then I can put this uh, wooden log down. And I got some wheat growing. I am almost completely out of wheat. Uh, I am out of my seeds. And I need to grow some more wheat so that I can... In fact, I think I'm out of wheat. Otherwise, I would have made more seeds than that. Let me see. Uh, where is it at? Seeds. Yep, I am completely out of wheat. So this little bit that I got growing right here is just enough to get me going uh, again. And I'll keep going with this whole little uh, row that I used to do. And I kind of stopped on it for a while. Replace, now we're going to build. I kind of stopped doing that for a while. And I'm kind of suffering for it now. Like, you really don't want to delay for too long keeping up with some of this stuff. Especially the food. When they're drinking the beer, it's just... I know I say it all the time, but it's crazy how much you notice it. And let's see. We could always put some coconuts down if we really, really got desperate. We have 999, I think is what it said. Yeah, we were completely maxed out on that. I don't really want to do that, though. I don't really like uh, giving my guys coconuts, because I kind of promised them I wouldn't. Because <laughs> we we started the game early on, and that's what we fed them the entire time at the beginning, because we just didn't have anything better. And so at some point, uh, you know, I decided that my guys had suffered long enough, and they, they deserved a little bit better than that, so I wasn't going to feed them that anymore. Let's see, do we have any more stucco? Uh, we might. Actually, we don't have that much, so we'll make a few more pieces, and I'll put this down right there, because we don't need the seeds anyways. Pick up that scaffolding, and we'll go ahead and start putting some of this stucco down. Let's replace the earth. We're going to try to finish off some of these rooms. We will do a little bit of looking around as well. Uh, there is a, a fair bit of that to be done. Let's see, replace earth finally giving my guys something to do and you can see the uh, comfort rating is anywhere from 80 percent to I think it's over here well, it was 86 earlier so something's changed I don't know if growing this stuff indoors lowers your comfort rating or not see this is 86 over here and 86 again so that's weird how it was just 80 and then it jumped up to 86 so I'm guessing the lines are being drawn differently every single time and that is what's causing it now Tamara let me know that I needed to seal this up, and she was completely right. I do need to seal this up, or at least just one block right here would help. Um, I'm not sure if I want to dig up these two blocks and make it bigger over here. I think if I do that, I'm going to do it uh -oh. later. So I'm just going to seal that up with dirt for now. And we'll use some scaffolding to help out with that. They should be able to reach that. 
hopefully we'll see here in a minute. Don't really need this scaffolding anymore. And this guy's just kind of sitting up here chilling, so I wonder what he... I guess he doesn't have a task to do at all? I mean, there's stuff on the map. He could pick this stuff up over here. He could put this stuff down over there. Where's he going now? This is weird. Like, why are they heading over here? Is there stuff for him to pick up? Oh, there sure is. So that's where they're going. I guess that's not too bad. I'd rather them come over here and pick up the water than, than just kind of sit there and do nothing. We will come in here, and we're going to clean this room out. Because why not? We'll get this right here. And we may make that into uh, some kind of little farming area or something. I don't know yet. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Did we run out of... I wonder why we didn't put this down. Does it replace Earth? You think it would be uh, replace front or back? I wonder why it's replaced Earth. I don't know. We're not going to worry about that too much right now. And I do, at some point, want to extenuate there, not extenuate, but extend uh, this area over here a little further. Maybe even just go all the way across at some point because this is kind of a nice little barracks. I like it. It's very crowded, but it still looks fairly cool. Let's put some of this meat down before my guys just keel over. I, mean, I would not be surprised if we see all our dwarves run down here in a second now that there's actually food for them to eat. Because, like I said before, there's always food here, but if you come over here and you see, like, uh, all the tables are almost completely empty except for one type of food, then chances are they've reached their breaking point with that type of food and they don't want it anymore. Like, they want anything else but that. And if that happens, it can kind of suck, you know? It really throws you off guard and you're not ready for it. I should put a door here. Let me see, do I have one? Uh, yeah, we actually do have doors, so let's put those down. Where am I going to put that? Uh, well, I don't even need the barrel down there. What is that doing down there? Let's put a door here. Uh, we should seal this up eventually, but there's food right there, so I'm going to have to wait, and I'll bring that down. I'll have to move this guy over as well. Although, I guess I don't have to because we didn't seal this up, although we probably should. And the same thing goes over here. We didn't seal up any of our doorways. Hmm. Let's uh, move this scaffolding over here. I guess they couldn't get that one piece. Let's do this. Replace Earth. And I will change... Hmm. Do I want to do a different look? I think we might try a different look for half of it or something. I don't really like the gray one. The gray one looks a little too depressing. You know, like if you had a whole room like that, that might be a bit much. I, you know, when we're coloring the tiles, this reminds me of a game, uh, some of you may recognize it with Qbert, where you had to uh, jump on the same squares, and at a certain point, at the very beginning, you just had to jump on them once and change the color. Very, very simple. You know, you were being chased the whole time, uh, and then later on, you had to jump on them multiple times. And every time you jumped on them, it would change the color again. So if you jumped on it too many times, you would have to then go back and figure out how to get there and and change the color without changing the color of the tiles next to it uh, and still somehow get back to the main piece, the very top piece of the pyramid with again not changing the tiles out of order uh, of the color. So when I do this it kind of reminds me of playing that game where I'm sitting here going through the different uh, colors that the the game has to offer. I guess we're gonna put the door we'll put a door here and then I don't know what we're gonna put there. Wood maybe? Or stone. Stone, I guess, because the bottom is stone already. And this part over here kind of looks stonish. So, yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll put place stone wall right there. And we may go all the way up with it and the roof at some point. But for now, I think we're going to leave it like that. I do like the solid floor look, but not completely. Like... I could see there'd be a point to it, but down here looks really cool too. And especially down here, where the uh, the wood is, where it meets the uh, the gravel-like uh, substance underneath it, this really gives it almost like a mine shaft look. I mean, the the brick kind of takes away from it, but the actual like flooring is pretty cool. So I could see not even doing like the backdrop, but just the floor in this uh, and creating like mine shafts that go really deep and stuff. Uh, my guy's getting attacked. I think he's probably fine. Let's see. We will go ahead and keep extending this. 
just because and again you got to be very careful when they're walking over it because if you do that of course uh oh, there's a little stone tile back there i guess i didn't really need to put that one down but yeah if you're doing this while they're walking over they have a chance to fall down when you change the flooring and they can get trapped uh they can get befuddled and, and not know what they're supposed to be doing and uh it just it's kind of a pain in the butt who's getting attacked they're probably over there at the pyramid again for no reason whatsoever they love going over there to that section what I have noticed uh, I need to put some dirt down there what I have noticed is uh, yeah build earth get to chop that down oh we got a lot of stuff over here even mushrooms what are mushrooms doing over here don't need to attack that but like I said uh, when I come over here look how many guys I mean that's just yeah that's bugged and my little minions will get stuck over here too until I look at them and then all of a sudden they start popping up and be like, oh, okay, now I understand uh, you guys are, are trying to do something over there. Let's, let's build some more traps real quick. Let's see. We'll do some wooden traps. And what I am going to do with this is build them over here. Kill off a few of those little mummies. Uh, that way I don't have to fight them later on because they're kind of just stacking up. They're piling up down there on the bottom. And even though they're not really a nuisance to me at this point they will cause a fair bit of lag at some point in the game when they stack up. I mean, look how many there are up here. And I hope my guys can rally together and start doing this fairly quickly. But you'll see if we come down here where they've kind of all been going, and we got a whole bunch over here. In fact, there's a lot of those guys over here stacked on top of each other. I probably should just send my guys down here to annihilate them because I think they probably could at this point, but I don't want it to stack up too much. Let's see, are they... They must be doing something else, because they're not going to get here in time with the, the way they're going. Low health. Well, finding way. Why don't you go back home? Where are you? What? How did you guys get down here? Why in the world are you even down here? Oh, because I told you to, to mine over here, what, like a gazillion years ago? Yeah, we'll take that down. We don't... We don't need that for whatever reason. Okay, we got some scaffolding. Uh, I guess they have some leftover commands from earlier when we were harvesting down here. Let's do some uh, little minions to help out with this. Nice little chunk of gold, though. We can make some armor from that. Let's do this, and we'll do some scaffolding. Well, yeah, they're coming over here, like, immediately <laughs> upon putting the portal down. The other one, not so much. Like, they don't want to... Uh, is this resources over here? Yeah, more resources over here. Good lord. No wonder I was over here. Look at all these resources. This is a lot of stuff. Wow, okay, well, we're going to finish all this stuff up. Logger's book increase the speed at which trees can be cut down. Hmm. Can we make some more of these? 38. Yeah, I think my guys are all going to have a suit of, of mithril. I can make 18 mithril things. Wow. Let's do that first. Maybe they're all going to have mithril. Nice. It's even better. Let's see, how much coal do we have? I don't want to waste it all. Okay, that should be good. Man, look how much silver we have. This is a crazy amount of silver. And gold. Let's get all of this. Uh, a little bit more there. What else do we got? We got a little bit of coal over here. That's a good sign. We're definitely going to need that. Let's grab this as well. But yeah, like I was saying, this is our 100th episode, which is just mind-boggling that we've gotten to that point. Uh, I think it's fantastic. I think it's an amazing achievement uh, for my channel. Like, when I first started this channel, I thought, you know, I love playing video games, and I love playing with other players and meeting new people, and what better way to meet more people and play with other people than to do it online? This guy's drowning. What is he even doing down here? How did he even get in here? Now, I've seen this several times. I don't know why they like coming over here, but they do. They come over here and they just sit right here for like five minutes until uh, they finally figure out that they can't go anywhere. And then they travel back the entire route they just came from, and it's, it's kind of annoying because there's no reason for them to be down here. I know he wants to come up here, but, dude, that's not the route. <laughs> I gave you a portal. And you still don't want to go the route you're supposed to. Let's grab all this. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? We should probably put some lights down, some torches. Just uh, 
just so that when we leave, we can actually see what's going on here, because the portal does really light up a whole lot. And then once you leave the portal, or the portal disappears, you move it to another location, uh, this whole place turns dark on you, and it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You don't really want that to happen to you, because later on when you come back and you're looking around, you're like, oh, this place is still really dark. Oh, crap, I need to put another portal down. Uh, let's see, where are we going to put this? We'll put it over here, I guess. Can they get down here? Not yet. But they will as soon as I break through here. So we'll get out of this water. And we'll break through right there. Yeah, we'll break down here. Don't want to put that torch down for some reason. Tons and tons of resources here that these guys are not getting. Ugh, if I just had more power, guys. If I just had more power. We will... Why aren't you guys moving? Seriously? What is your deal? There's plenty of stuff for you to chop. Go to work. There we go. Ooh, look at all this coal. I did not mean to stop you from doing that. Great. It's going to be like five minutes before he starts doing something. He's so confused. All my guys are confused. All of them. Let's go over here and see if they even put down any of these traps. I doubt they did. They put down a few. Not too many, but a few. What about these guys? Okay, so they're stuck. They were stuck until I came up here to look at them, so probably shouldn't have looked at them uh, beforehand. We'll put another portal right here, just so they can finish that off. The last thing I want is my guys traveling a gazillion years out in the, some weird direction to go over there and put those portals down, which seems to happen quite a bit. Let's see, you got some more coal there. We'll put down some more scaffolding right there. Ah, man, this is where was all these resources when I needed them? And now that I don't really need it that badly, that's when they, they pop up. Okay, so we're going to make some mithril armor. Armor, guys, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, finally, finally we can make some of this stuff. Okay. No, dang it. Stupid. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I wish there was an autofill, you know, like lazy. After you've done it a couple times and you got through it a couple levels, uh, you know, you kind of get the point. Like, I, I get it, I get it, I got the, the fact that I need to put the po the pieces in there, but, uh, you know, once you've learned it, you should have learned it, like, for the game, rather than just per level. Uh, because it does make sense that, so I was talking about it with building uh, the portal so that you can go through to the next world, somebody was saying, well, in the sense that it only has enough power to send one dwarf at a time, and that's why, uh, you know, you, you have to start with just one guy, and then after a while you get another one and another one, it's kind of like it's sending them through bit by bit, that makes sense, but shouldn't they retain at least some of the knowledge that they had in the last level? I mean, is the portal so destructive that it just wipes their brain cells when they go through it and they come out the basic dwarf with nothing on them? It's almost like uh, the Terminator where they can't carry anything with them and only the dwarf can get through and none of their armor does. And I guess in some sense of the word that kind of makes sense, but it's just fairly weird that you don't get to keep any of your knowledge at some point, you know? At least with the sandbox, the more knowledge you have as a player, uh, the more it translates over into the game. Because from what I hear, you can go in there with the knowledge of how to build like mithril armor, and right off the bat, if you choose that option, uh, you can start building mithril armor if you have the pieces or the, uh, the resources to do so. Like, you're not held back by your research level. A logger's book increases the speed at which trees can be cut down. Let's see, we're gonna put some more lights down over here. Hopefully these guys will start picking some stuff up, because they got a lot of stuff to pick up. Water, silver, lots of silver, a little bit of coal, good amount of... Can he put it in there? I don't think he can. I think I'll have to put it right there. Take that down. A little bit of gold still up here. Actually, quite a bit of gold. <laughs> they just, uh, I don't understand it why they have the, uh, you know, the priority to mine, but not pick up, like, ever. And at the very beginning, it seems to be the reverse, where they have the priority to pick up all the time, but they don't ever really mine. And I, I'll see them, and it annoys me to no end at the very beginning of the game, where they will stop doing, I don't know why they won't build that there. They will stop doing whatever, oh, crap, their portal's gone. Let's put that there. But they're stopped doing... I've already said that like 47 times. Uh, what they were doing because 
they need to pick up the stuff that was there. And again, they won't put this stupid uh, torch down. What is the deal with that? And I need the, the torch over here because you guys won't put it where I want you to put it. And again, you guys won't put it there. It's too tall. Let's put one down here and another one right there. And I thought I told you to put one over here as well. And we'll put one right there. Okay. So as soon as you guys actually start doing your job and picking this stuff up. Now I can put down the spell that does like this whirlwind and just sucks everything up. That's really useful if there's tons and tons of resources in one small confined area. But I found these minions are better. They're slower. They take their time going back up. And then they come back down to pick stuff up. So in the end, I think you get more bang for your buck for as far as power goes if you use the minions, but it really is just how fast and how badly do you want... I thought I just put a torch here, so... I don't know if they just don't want to put it down or what's going on, but... Yeah, it's really just how fast do you want it. Yeah, you'll use a little bit more power to do the whirlwind, and you won't get quite as much out of it, but you will get it immediately. You don't have to wait for them to go pick it up or anything like that, so... Let's see. You guys are fine over here. Now I'm just waiting for you guys to, to pick all this stuff up. So we will do a couple portal pieces. Let's see, can we make any more power potions? I think we were making jars just so we could do exactly that. And they're out of health potions as well. So let's do a few of those. Again, we're out of resin. I just don't get enough resin on this level. Let's do a few power potions. Uh, do we have a place for them? Yeah, we already have a place for it. So let's use a few of those. Boom, baby. There we go. And we will do a few more minions to help out. This is tons and tons of resources. Uh, a little bit of water. Hopefully you guys go to work up here as well. It's going to use pretty much all of my power. There we go. Man, that's tons of guys crazy we would never have that many at the very beginning of the game look at that Let's zoom out oh my god that is a lot of guys where are they getting attacked why are you over here again they love to come over here I put a portal down so you wouldn't have to carry those things and I guess it disappeared and that's why they're coming that's unfortunate did not want you guys in here this guy might die this bow and arrow guy ah dang it guys you you annoy me to no end. Okay, we're gonna get some of these these mushrooms. No, we don't need that. We're gonna get that. Let's put a portal right over here. We'll do two. And they are stepping on the traps. I do get experience from that. We got, what, six minutes before the next wave comes? Let's come up here to the top. Actually, what is our rating now? 85 since we sealed that off. Hmm. We do have some traps down, not very many. So let's put a few more just to help out. There we go. We'll chop that down. I've chopped this piece down <laughs> like eight times now. And then I tell them to fill it in with dirt. They never get here in time. Doing that over here is is uh, really a nightmare sometimes. Like they just can't get there fast enough. And these uh, portholes up here, they didn't work. And I was going to move them around and try a different placement, and I will, but... We're not going to get to it on this video. I think we'll get to it on the next one. And look at all these guys. That is a nice chunk of resources right there. Okay, we need to chop that down. We'll put some more right here and over here. Don't really need to do too many. Dwarf dead. What killed him? How did he die down here? There's nothing over here to die from. Oh, did he die from hunger? I think I just saw some of my mithril weapons disappear there. Come on, pick the stuff up, guys. Anytime. I don't want to lose that stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe they died. That's just ridiculous. Who died again? Was there two of them here? No, there was just one. And none of my guys will do anything. Ah. You guys are worthless, man. You can come all the way down here and fly all the way up. There is a clean path for you guys to get there. But you're literally going to make me chop my way down, aren't you? Ah, you guys suck so bad. I hate you. I hate you so much. 
Let's put this over here. We'll do a few corals, because that's going to take a while to chop. Let's pick up all this stuff. Uh, we'll leave those there for now, the scaffolding. Did we get all the scaffolding that we want? Pretty much. We got little minions going to work. Let's see. Let's put this stuff down. Anytime, guys. You got plenty of time. And yet nobody's chopping. And these guys aren't picking anything up. Ah, what is the deal? So many little bugs. It's like the further and further I get into this game on this level, since it's bugged out on me, the worse it gets. And not the game, but the bugs. And it's just it's really annoying after a certain point where you're just like, okay, enough is enough. Just let me play the game without freaking out. And it's unfortunate because it is just a great game. And I hate it when it's kind of... A lot of the enjoyment is sucked out of it because it's just kind of messing up on you, and it's just, it, that's not supposed to be the case. Like, none of the other levels I had any of these problems. I just had, you know, dwarvish issues where the dwarves really weren't listening, and uh, they wanted to do their own thing, but at least they were doing something. On this one, a lot of the time, they just stuck, and you can tell, like, that's a bug. That's not supposed to be the case. What do we got? 88 over here. Are they eating food finally? Yeah. They're finally eating a little bit more. Not much. Ooh, they're at a beer over here on the station? That is not acceptable. Our alcoholic guys have to have their beer. Let's do this. A little bit over here. Ooh, wow, this whole table's almost empty. If they'd move, I could put beer over here as well. Because again, if you click on them, like I'll do it right here, I'll click on this guy. Oh, he's already drunk. Uh, if you click on one of the dwarves why the beer is activated, he will actually drink it. And now that guy's running off because he uh, drank that beer. Let's put a little bit up here. I think you can do the same thing with food. I think you can click on them and they will eat the food as well. So if they're really, really far away from their base and you want to give them some food before they starve to death, kind of like my other guy, I believe, just did. Now we're going to dig this. Uh, nope, that's not what I want to do. We don't want to do that right there. Let's see, what are you making? Mana potions? Okay, we can do with that. We do have two minutes till the next wave. So I am going to check my dwarves and see if any of them need to go to sleep. Because a few of them have been kind of stupid lately. Because they don't have very many uh, health potions left. Uh, let's see. You can go to bed, I guess. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, wow. No, you're not. You're going to bed. Let's see. Eh. I'll wait till you pick some stuff up. And then tell you to go to bed. There you go. So at least you'll take that stuff back with you. Go into stockpile. No, you can go to bed. Go to bed. You're fine. Waiting. No, you're going to bed. I don't even know why you're coming over here. With that low health, you should not even have wasted time coming over in the portal. Finding a way. Go to bed, guy. And now, there is a connection. There is a connection down there. And yet, those little minions are still sitting down there doing absolutely nothing. While... My other minions over here have found plenty of routes back, and some of them are sitting there doing nothing, too. I just, I don't understand why it bugs out like that. Some of them are perfectly fine where other ones aren't. Maybe there's just too many, is all I can think of. But I'm not getting lag from it, it's just, there we go. It took them long enough. Are they going to pick everything up? So they got a helmet, they got the axe. What do these guys have? Nothing? I didn't see a breastplate. you tell me I lost my breastplate too? Well, that sucks. Okay, do we have our good ones yet? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, okay. This is going to be awesome. Okay, mithril armor, guys. Oh, my God. Let's see. Who has still? No, you're getting upgraded to gold. Golden warrior, dude. Still, you're going to get an upgrade to gold. What about you? Still, still, still. Silver. Hmm. So I need to make some better ones. Some of them are still using still. I can't believe that. That's crazy. All this time I had the, the resources to make uh, silver and I wasn't making it. I was slacking off there towards the end. Let's see. I can make another one of these. Uh, hmm. Let's see, should we make golden helmets? I think we should probably make a couple golden helmets. We'll do five of those to start with. And that will help them out a little bit. We still got a little bit more gold, and they can always make more. 
I believe, let's see, how many more can we make? 36? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's tons. They can make tons of those. We'll make more of that then. Because we want to at least give them as much mithril as possible, but then at the same token, uh, we want to give them as much gold and the placement that they can't get otherwise. Okay, so there's just torches to be had here. They've already picked up all the resources. A little bit more silver, a little bit more gold. Or no, no, there's no gold up here. Coal up here. More gold over here. And where am I under attack? Why are you over here, guy? Like, you uh, you really need brains that much? You should use them instead of just picking them up. But you're not going to, are you? Okay, well, too late now. Fight start, and we're going to go ahead and call all of our guys home. Let's bring them over here. So we got one on the left, one on the right. Let's see. Where is this guy getting attacked? Down here. Oh, he just killed one of those. So we got two on the right. Dude, you have the mithril armor and you're sucking this bad over here? Oh, I hate you. I hate you so bad. Let's put a portal. Go home. I told you to... I did a call reinforcement thing. Population increase. Seriously, I get him right as the wave's starting. Let's see if we can get him outfitted before he dies. Uh, you are a mage, so we're going to give you a mage staff. That's perfect. I think that's exactly what we lost, too. We will give you steel armor, because this is the best we have. Steel helmet. Uh, iron boots. Almost don't want to give you a pickaxe. Like, because you you're not going to need it, but we'll go ahead and give you one. I don't have an axe. Uh, either they just didn't get it back, or I don't know what, but... We're going to give you a miner's book. And we're going to give you... Uh, we'll give you a tough backpack, I guess. There we go. Let's go back over to where the fighting's going on. This guy's still running around like an idiot. Now, where are these things going? Like, how did they come over here? Oh, they saw that my guys were over here. Or is this an easier path to my base, maybe? Maybe they think that's an easier path to my base. I don't know. They are spawning further and further away on that side. We got gargoyles incoming. Let's see. How are they doing over here? Pretty good, actually. Ever since I put this second door in right here, this thing's been firing at the enemies really well. So I'm thinking, uh, you know, either it has to be right here at the bottom or down here in the center, maybe. But either way, if you run into that kind of issue, just try, you know, lowering the, the floor down a little bit. Because this was supposed to be like a pillbox. So it was very much just kind of popping out of the ground. At the very beginning, it was level with the ground. It was just shooting straight up. That didn't re really work out too well. They would come over there and stand right on top and just beat down, and they got through rather quickly. I think this over here is actually a better method. It's high enough up that the enemies can't get to it uh, with their, uh, you know, their too tall version guys, but they can put down like their skeleton shield and jump on it and bash up. So I would prefer to put hatches at the bottom and kind of block it because right now, if they destroy my sh my bridge right here, my towers will just fall down and be destroyed. And so it's very, very easily for them to do some serious damage if I let them. But try not to let them do that. I'm trying to, to pay attention. But if you want something that's very ease of use, make sure you put hatches down here. Um, and then also make sure that you're probably at least three down. Because this thing can shoot all the way over here. So that's a long distance. So you don't have to really worry about the distance on these things. So just give them a little bit more height. And that way they don't have to worry about being destroyed. And the creatures will walk right underneath it. And if you put down these uh, these little traps right here and the fences as well, the, or the cages and the fences, then you don't really have to worry too much about them kind of speeding through this area. And with two of the towers maxed out, I haven't really ever had a problem here. My dwarves just kind of show up so that they can get some experience as well. They do kind of get hurt here and there, but it's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, okay, so we did pretty good there. And if I put down more traps, they wouldn't get hurt at all. But that's a lot of wood. Wow, here they come. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, no. Get up here, guys. Let's see. Can I put them right here? Let's see if they're actually use these portholes up here. I don't think they will. Can they not get up there? Let's see if this works. Maybe now they will use it. Still nothing? How about now? You still don't want to get up there. Wow, they really don't want to walk up. I've seen them 
climb across and go over there for reasons of, of uh, like chopping wood down and stuff like that. But they just do don't want to go up here right now. That's weird. Huh. Maybe, uh... I don't know, maybe they can't. I could have sworn I've seen them do it, though, so maybe I'm wrong on that one. Let's uh, build the earth here. These guys are already dead, so I don't need to, w uh, to mess around with those. Let's do some little minions to help out. I think pretty much all the minions we had have already been maxed out and died. Let's see. You're fine over here. How many people are sleeping? few of them, not too bad. Let's put a bit more food down if we can. There we go. Nope. Pretty much everything's already filled up. This guy's just coming for a drink. After a nice hard battle, he wants to get his drink and wants to sit down and reminisce about his uh, his battles. And Did I ever put the second couch down? I don't know if I tried that. Somebody was letting me know that there's a good chance that the second couch wouldn't go down regardless because uh, they don't like being next to one another from what they were telling me. Yeah, there you go. The couches apparently do not like being side by side. Like, I'll have to put it way over here, so I don't like that too much. In fact, I don't know. It looks okay with the couch. I just wish I had planned this out a little bit more and gotten one more row over so that this would have been even right down the center rather than basically two blocks being the even center of uh, this room. And it just kind of makes for a, a weird look. And again, it's... If I didn't have to put the two tapestries down, just one tapestry, I think that would have brought the room together a whole lot more. So you might want to do a little bit of planning before you do that kind of stuff. But I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I do thank you for watching. This is the 100th episode, so make sure you guys leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the series so far. Uh, has it changed? Has uh, my commentary changed from the beginning? Do you enjoy the way it's gone? Uh, do you like the old style? I was actually going back and watching some of my my really really old videos from when I first started like a year and a half ago and I just was face palming the whole time and I was like holy crap I was so horrible so <laughs> horrible at doing this I, I can't imagine why anybody ever hit that like button but they did and I'm, I'm very grateful that you guys enjoy maybe I'm a little too hard on myself but uh, yeah it was it was like shrieking uh, how horrible I thought I was so again I hope you guys do enjoy these videos and I will catch you next time.